Hey, how's it going? It's you. Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix 100% disk usage and optimize your disk drives to improve your gaming performance, FPS, and stability in your Windows 10 and 11. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is checking if your disk has any kind of error or corruption. So simply search for CMD and then search for run as administrator. Okay, once you're in here, you have to type in SFC space slash scan now. Press enter and let it run. This will do a system scan and this might take 5 to 10 minutes. And once the verification is done, it will fix any kind of corruption or error partition which might be causing instability for FPS issues or lags in the games. As you guys can see, it has found some corrupted parts and corrupted files in my windows and it successfully repaired it. You will see a similar kind of message if you find any kind of errors in your drive. And if you don't find them, it will just show you that no errors found. And you guys can now proceed to the next command that is chk. So you have to type in chk dsk space c colon slash f so you need to make sure to type in chk dsk space c colon space slash f press enter and let it run this will ask you that it cannot run because it is currently in process if you press y your system will restart and check any kind of errors in the boot this will fix any kind of boot files that are corrupted that might be causing issues and instability on your pc this will 100 percent fix your high disk usage in the background for now i'll just press n and i'll just continue with it step number two is best window settings and for that search for settings on your pc and once you're here go down to system then head down to storage and over here you'll find storage sense you have to turn this thing on after that go inside and then click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files then for automatic user content cleanup you want to have to turn this thing on and then configure cleanup schedules run storage sense to every day delete files in my recycle bin for 14 days and delete files in my download folder to never once that is done click on run storage sense now and this will clean up your temporary files real time in the background this is a very useful tool in windows and i believe all of you guys should utilize it also after that head down to advanced storage settings then select drive optimization right over here and this will take you to optimize drives once again you want to have to select your local disk c and then look at the media type if it is a solid state drive, you guys have to trim your SSD. Simply click on optimize and this will start trimming your solid state drive. It will help you to clean up unused partitions and help you to optimize your drive. Similarly, if it is a hard disk drive, you wanna have to click on analyze first, analyze the hard disk drive and then click on optimize to start fragmenting it. Once again, it does not harm your drives if you regularly do this and it ultimately helps you to improve their performance. So I would recommend you guys to simply trim and fragment all of your disks and solid state drives as well then you'll find scheduled optimization right over here click on change settings select run on a schedule and the frequency should be set to weekly then increase task priority click on the choose button over here and select all of your drives right over here click on ok click on ok and then close this now before we move ahead a really effective way to improve your pc's performance is having free space on your local disk c and installing your games and your operating system in an SSD as they are generally faster and more responsive. I collaborated with 4D DIG Partition Master, a really handy and portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system and here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will automatically to detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS to be migrated to and simply click on start. And in a few moments, your PC will boot up faster. You can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better. 
you can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. And for that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard and this will open up Task Manager. Once you're over here, you have to go down to Startup Apps and then you'll find a lot of applications listed right over here. Now, many of these applications are not in use right after the boot of your PC, but they are still enabled. That means that they are consuming your CPU and RAM utilization right after the start of your PC. And this will result in slower boot times and high disk usage in the background since all of them need to be running in the background. So I would recommend you guys to disable as many of these applications that you feel you do not use. Some of these applications for me is WhatsApp, Discord, Skype and a lot more. These are the applications I only open when I need them. So I simply disable them as they won't boot in the background. This will reduce my BIOS booting time and the lower it is, the better for your PC. Next step is running a antivirus check. I would recommend you guys to download Malwarebytes. It is a free trials antivirus. This is not sponsored. Otherwise, what you can do is simply press Windows and R key together on your keyboard and then type in MRT. Press enter. This will open up Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool. This comes with your Windows. It is a pre-built software. You can simply click on next and then do a full scan of your PC. This might take a few hours, but this will find all and any kind of corrupted and malicious software or file from your PC and will straight up delete it. Sometimes these kind of softwares or files might be causing disk issues and continuous utilization in the background. So running a antivirus check will help you to fix this issue most likely. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here look for local disk C and click on create. Over here you wanna have to type in disk optimization just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is disk optimization pack 2024 I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This is a super important tool and it is for everyone out there. Over here, you'll find in four simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is batch optimization, where I have left simple two batch files. First one is clean temporary files, which we have already done. So I will skip it. But if you guys are not deleting your temporary files often, you guys can right click on this and run this as administrator. You can make a shortcut of this and simply run it anytime you feel you want to clean all of your temporary files off of your PC. As you guys can see, this will delete temporary files, Windows directory, cache files and Windows prefetch. This will help you to not only remove your unwanted temporary files but help you to reduce your input delay as well. Next one is pcoptimizer.bat and it is a very simple tool to use. Once again, right click and run this as administrator. Now once you are here, it will ask you to press any key to continue. Simply do that and it will start creating a system restore point. Press enter and this will do that. Now press enter once again and now now over here you will fix your network throttling for better ping. Press enter once again and now it will fix system response time. Press enter once again it will help you to set up your GPU priority correctly. Press enter once again and then this will optimize your windows updates. That means disabling unwanted windows updates in the background that might be causing storage and network utilization in the games. Press enter once again and this will disable hibernate feature on your windows. This is really unwanted because it still consumes your power supply and keep everything up and running and it is not recommended to put your PC on hibernate very often. Press enter once again and this will optimize your visual settings that means it will deanimate your windows, disable all kind of unnecessary animations and I'm going to be telling you how you can enable that just in a moment. Press enter once again and then it will help you to disable game DVR. This is a really useless thing and it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background and it's very very recommended that you guys disable that. Press enter and this will help you to import ultimate performance power plan on your PC. This power plan will help you surely optimize the power input on your PC, disable all kind of power saving features on your USB, hard disk drive, CPU and a lot more helping you to improve your performance. Press enter one last time and it will disable all kind of Xbox services that are consuming your RAM usage in the background, CPU usage in the background as well and that will fix a lot of your stuttering, micro stutters, black screen issues and a lot more. 
press enter and this will be done now you can press enter one last time and your pc is completely optimized once again this feature has disabled all kind of animations of your pc so now what you have to do is type in adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here make sure you select custom and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings will help you to keep the basic minimal look of your windows intact while everything else will be disabled click on ok now go back to the second folder that is disk optimization or disk cleanup right over here simply open it up and then you have to click on local disk c click on ok right over here you have to make sure to select everything over here including your direct x shader cache delivery optimization recycle bin and temporary files and once that is done click on ok this will help you to gain up to 1.7 gigabytes of your utilized storage simply let it run in the background third folder right over here is power plan settings and once again this will help you to import ultimate performance power plan and we have already done it with the pc optimizer so if you want to run the power plan right over here right click in on this as administrator and then head down to power plans right over here you have to select ultimate performance make sure that this is added right over here and then close it fourth and final one is a system responsiveness boost where i have left low med high optimization and i would recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which registry you need to choose right over here once again if that doesn't work out well you can re-enable stock optimizations from this folder once you're done with that simply close everything and now restart your pc once and enjoy the best and smoothest disc performance for gaming on windows 10 and 11 in 2025 i hope this guide helps you out if it does make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you guys help me reach that goal we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Barry fox and peace out